Hey guys! In this video of mind-blowing facts, we will look at some marvelous fact about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Just a disclaimer, this video will contain spoilers for the MCU movies and shows. All information in this video is collected from factinate.com. So, let's start. Number 1. In some of the early Marvel Ultimates comic storylines, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver teased an incestuous relationship. Olsen and Aaron Taylor Johnson, who played Quicksilver, played around with this storyline in The Avengers, Age of Ultron, as Olsen said that this inspired the way they acted around each other in the film. Good thing that didn't happen in the movies. Number 2. Some fans were upset that an important character from the comics was left out of the Marvel movie adaptation of The Avengers. The Wasp, wife of Ant-Man, was the one who came up with the name The Avengers. The Wasp and Ant-Man were pivotal in the creation of the team, and many fans were upset that they were left out of the films. Although it's possible they were just left out to make their introduction in the Ant-Man standalone movies all that much sweeter. If so, it worked, the Ant-Man flicks are fantastic on their own. Number 3. Iron Man's suit has changed with the times, but the original suit was often shown being plugged into wall sockets for regular charging. Number 4. Wakanda was foretold long ago. The dwelling place of Black Panther, Wakanda, was mentioned in Avengers, Age of Ultron, but it was not the first time the location was referred to in the Marvel Universe. It was seen as a hotspot on Nick Fury's map in Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 came out eight years before the Black Panther movie hit in 2018. Number 5. The process that Tony Stark went through to create Ultron was a nod to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Like Victor Frankenstein, Stark strives to create life with noble, if somewhat ego-driven, intentions. But just as Frankenstein's creation finds itself cast aside by the world and subsequently seeks revenge, so does Ultron act out violently due way to a belief that he is different from humanity. Both monsters were initially designed for good, but became corrupted along the way. Where the characters differ, though, is in their specific motivations for destruction. Frankenstein's creature looks for retribution on the man who created him without a purpose, his is a story, in many ways, about man's quest for meaning and his relationship with Victor has been said to mirror humanity's reverence for our many gods. Meanwhile, Ultron views all of humanity as a scourge on the planet. He is driven by what he sees as moral righteousness. His existence is not lacking for meaning, if anything, he has found a purpose for himself, albeit a misguided one. Number 6. Though he played Bruce Banner in The Incredible Hulk, Edward Norton was not cast in The Avengers because the director considered him not creative enough and lacking the collaborative spirit. Number 7. The infinity gems that power the Infinity Gauntlet can be seen throughout the Marvel films, the Tesseract is the Space Gem, Loki's Scepter is the Mind Gem, the Aether is the Reality Gem, and the Orb is the Power Stone. Number 8. Steve Rogers, or Captain America, has a list in his notebook of cultural events slash items that he needs to brush up on to acquaint himself with 21st century. The list changed depending on the country where the film was shown. Number 9. Lou Ferrigno, who played the Hulk on the Incredible Hulk TV show from the 70s makes an appearance as Stan Lee's security in the 2003 Hulk film and then as a bodyguard in the 2008 film The Incredible Hulk. Number 10. When Tony Stark looks through his father Howard's suitcase in Iron Man 2, you can see a Captain America comic book, as well as a map of the Arctic Circle where Captain America's plane went down. Number 11. In Iron Man 2, when Nick Fury tells Tony Stark that they have bigger problems to worry about in the Southwest, he's referring to the recent discovery of Thor's hammer. Number 12. The New Mexico town where the first Thor movie was set is named Puente Antiguo, which means ancient bridge in Spanish. This is very likely a reference to the Bifrost Bridge, Thor's connection to Asgard. Number 13. Michael Straczynski, writer of the Thor comic books, makes a cameo in the first Thor, as one of the men who attempts to pull Thor's hammer out of the ground. Number 14. The shirt that Dr. Jane Foster hands to Thor belonged to an ex-boyfriend named Donald Blake MD. In the original comic books, Dr. Blake was Thor's alter ego. Number 15. When Thor abducts Loki in the Avengers, two ravens fly by during their argument. These ravens are thought to be Huggin and Munin, who serve as agents of Odin in the Thor comic books. Those same ravens can be seen perched on either side of Odin's throne in Thor, and in its sequel, Thor, The Dark World. Number 16. 
At the beginning of Thor, the Dark World, Thor battles a big rock-based gentleman. This is Korg the Cronin who appeared in the same comic book in which Thor made his debut, Journey into Mystery No. 83. Number 17. Odin's Vault contains several powerful relics from the past Marvel comics including the Orb of Agamotto, the Tablet of Life and Time, the Warlock's Eye, and the Infinity Gauntlet. Number 18. In The Avengers, after Bruce Banner falls from the sky, the security guard, played by Harry Dean Stanton, asks him nervously if he's an alien. Which, given the circumstances, is a fair question. But it makes even more sense when you know the full context, Harry Dean Stanton played one of the crew members on the ship an alien that was killed by the alien. Number 19. Tony Stark can be seen wearing a Black Sabbath t-shirt in The Avengers. It's a solid reference to the band's hit song Iron Man which has nothing to do with the Marvel character, but is a pretty awesome song. It played over the credits in the original Iron Man movie, right after Tony declared, I am Iron Man. If this video does well, I will make another video about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Also press the notification bell to be the first one to watch fun and cool videos like this. Thanks for watching and bye.